1996, historian Barry Brailsford drew the world's attention to a geological site which had the potential to change the historic record of New Zealand. A structure that would create so much controversy, a great number of theories would be created as to the very nature of its existence. This is the story of pre maori civilization and the Kaimanawa Wall. The Kaimanawa Wall can be found in the Kaimanawa Ranges near Lake Taupo in New Zealand. Now, the wall itself consists of a type of rock which is formed when pyroclastic pumice solidifies after a volcanic eruption. So here's where the controversy arises. The wall appears to bear the hallmarks of deliberate construction with neatly stacked rows of blocks with precision joins that appear to be carved or sculpted. Now, why does this present a problem? Well, Brailsford's theory and others is that the wall was built approximately 2,000 years ago. Now, this is a problem because archaeological evidence only places the first Māori as having arrived in New Zealand from eastern Polynesia sometime between 1250 and 1300 CE, some 700 years after the wall was supposedly built. There are three general theories about the wall. A. It's man-made and was built by a civilization prior to the Māoris. Some say these could be European Celts, fair-skinned Asians, or even a group of Polynesians who may have arrived in New Zealand prior to the Māori. B, that it's nothing more than the remains of an old sawmill some hundred years ago. Or C, it's nothing more than a natural outcropping, the result of a volcanic eruption some 330,000 years ago that just happened to form in the shape of the wall. So the question then is, which theory is true? The pre maori theory normally focuses on the Waitaha people and the belief that they arrived in and inhabited New Zealand hundreds of years before the Māori did. Now, this theory is controversial because if it were true, it would have massive ramifications towards the Treaty of Waitangi because this would mean that the Māori people of New Zealand are not the actual indigenous people of New Zealand. However, there's no direct evidence that this is true. Historian Michael King said, if the Waitaha people were here first and the theory is true, this would make the Waitaha people the only civilization on the history of the planet that ever lived in any one place for millennia and left no evidence of their occupation. Of course, evidence of occupation is no proof of one thing. And a lot of people would say that perhaps the Kaimanawa Wall is that evidence. Other wild theories even have misplaced Asians traveling to New Zealand, or in some cases people even believe Egyptians may have come, possibly due to the similarity of pyramids. There's long been a theory that people believe that this is the front wall of a pyramidal structure which went right up through the hill. So the key to deciphering this whole mystery is to find out once and for all whether or not this wall is man-made. Now after many papers being published and a lot of controversy, the government finally commissioned a team of geologists to come and undertake a survey to find out once and for all if it was man-made. And their conclusion? Their conclusion was that the formation itself is not man-made. It's simply the result of a volcanic eruption some 300,000 years ago and this is what happened when the rock cooled. It's a type of rock called ignimbrite which forms when pumice solidifies after a pyroclastic eruption. It just so happened that as it cooled cracks formed in the rock and these cracks appear as what we see as the joints and it's a pure coincidence that it happens to look like a wall. In more recent times a privately funded survey has been undertaken with the permission of DOC and they found that there was no evidence of a pyramidal structure above and behind the wall. However, in front of the wall on the flat ground here, they did find some evidence that something else may exist. Now, a convincing evidence-based case has yet to really be put forward by either side. Until that happens, it'll remain a mystery for some. But what do you think? Do you think they're just a fascinating but natural rock formation? Or do you think there's something more? Evidence of a long-lost civilization which could change the course of New Zealand history.